Full disk encryption technology is one that takes every bit and every byte of what's on your hard drive and it encrypts it. So your operating system, all of your applications, all of your data files, everything is completely encrypted. And as you might imagine, this is perfect for mobile systems. If you have a laptop that you happen to take places and someone steals it or you lose it, you don't have to worry that someone would have access to the data on that system because they would have to have your key, they would have to have your passphrase, and they would not be able to access the data unless they had that. There are many types of software that can do this. A good example of one that is built into Windows is a technology called BitLocker where you can encrypt your entire hard drive. You can encrypt a information that's on a USB key or a removable hard drive or storage system and protect everything. And it's simply part of the operating system. It's completely integrated. You can also get this technology from third party sources as well. There is PGP and TrueCrypt are a couple of commercial and open source alternatives where you can load that on your system and they will encrypt your entire hard drive and store all of that information in a way that no one would have access to it. The important part of all of these is you need to make sure you don't lose the key. Obviously, that's the thing that unlocks all of this data. If you lose the key, you don't have access to any of this. For some of this technology, like BitLocker that's integrated into the operating system, the key can be stored off other places from an administrative perspective. So if somebody brings in their laptop or somebody leaves the organization, you can use your administrative key to go to that computer and unlock everything. But you have to make sure that you've set that up and you've backed up your keys. You don't want to lose that information because if you lose the key, you lose all access to that data. If you've ever done a lot of encryption, you know that really large files become very, very difficult to encrypt. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of CPU cycles. And you can imagine databases, which become very, very large, would be incredibly difficult to encrypt and decrypt and constantly update if you had to encrypt and decrypt the entire database all at one time. So we usually don't see databases encrypted that way. Normally, the database management system itself has a method built into it to allow certain certain aspects of that data to be encrypted. So whether you're using MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle's line of products, they may have different methodologies on how you're able to encrypt data. And usually you're encrypting individual fields or records within a database. So you probably wouldn't encrypt someone's name. You may not encrypt their address, but you might encrypt a credit card number associated with them or their social security number. And this allows you to have a database and have very good access to the database, but still be able to protect those little pieces of information that are going to be very important to keep from prying eyes. We spoke earlier about full disk encryption, but maybe you don't want to encrypt the entire disk. Maybe you just need one file encrypted, or maybe you need a series of files or directories encrypted, not the entire hard drive. In that particular case, you may want to use some capabilities that are built into the operating system to do that, where you can right mouse click on a folder or right mouse click on a file and choose to encrypt it. Or maybe you choose a third party utility to do that. This gives you control over how much you encrypt and how much you don't encrypt. You don't have to worry about losing the key and not being able to boot up the hard drive. This also means you have to think about what types of resources are going to be needed to encrypt and decrypt this data on an on-demand process or when you copy that information back and forth. And of course, you need to make sure that you back up your keys. If you lose the key or you lose the passphrase, you will lose access to that data. So make sure you back up your keys. You keep them off that hard drive because if that hard drive fails and you need to restore those files, you're going to need those keys to be able able to gain access to that data again. Encryption on removable media becomes so important because, as the name implies, you can remove it and you can take it with you. And unfortunately, these tiny little keys that we have are very, very easy to lose. My USB drive gets lost all the time just in my bag. It's only a matter of time until I lose that completely. And then I'm concerned about the data that might be on that. So if we're making sure that we are encrypting all of the data on here, then we may be a little more safe if we happen to lose that USB drive. You can also set up administrative controls in many cases. Microsoft Windows allows a domain administrator to require that somebody using a USB key or a USB memory stick encrypts everything that's written to that disk. And that's one of the nice parts about having that type of control over the operating system. Again, the administrator is also able to back up that encryption key. If you don't have an administrator to do this, you need to make sure, of course, that you're backing up those keys. And of course, an administrator could say, 
you may not use any USB type or removable type of storage at all. The federal government in the United States, for instance, has a mandate recently where nobody can use removable media. And that's because some data leaked out, and they want to be sure that doesn't happen again. But if you're in an environment where that's not an option, make sure you consider thinking about encrypting the data that you put on these USB memory drives. That way, if you happen to lose one, you aren't going to be concerned about somebody finding it and gaining access to your data.